to my channel it is of course Chelsea and she designs things and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you how to add Shopify buttons Shopify print on demand to your Google site so of course if you want to know more about how this is achieved then stay tuned okay so while I was researching um, a few other e-commerce options and a few other design aesthetics that I was putting together I came across at Shopify buy now buttons so it's exactly what it sounds like much like um, PayPal and Stripe and Square has these buy now buttons Shopify now offers the same thing so it got me thinking is it possible to have a Google site that uses Shopify inside of it versus the usual, you know, you, you got to use them two separate platforms. And the answer I have come up with is yes, it is 100% possible. Not to mention you can have print on demand services such as Printful or Printify. I think that's what the other one's called. So let's just go ahead and talk about how to achieve this in your Google site. So here I have in front of me Minolta Orange. Those of you familiar with my site know that Minolta Orange is often my e-commerce site that I have not completed, but I do um, create tons and tons and tons of e-commerce options inside of. It's just not publicly shared. So what I did was created a Shopify buy now button okay to share this hoodie that i am drop shipping using printful i think printful is the one i'm using for this one um, and i added my logo right here in the center and you see i have all these beautiful mock-ups and all of this is just being brought in by the shopify buy now button so because this is an embed all you do is embed it in your site like any other embed so it made it super easy for me to be able to create this e-commerce option. You can also sell digital products inside of Shopify as well and use the um, buy now button on your Google site. And just so you know, this is what it looks like on a mobile device and this is what it looks like on a tablet. So the only caveat to this is I did have to pretty much embed this in here and then stretch it all the way down to get rid of the box because I didn't go in and adjust the size. But, 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 let's just go ahead and, well, do the thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to achieve this um, using Printful um, or Printify, I'm not sure which one I did. And then I'm also gonna show you the digital product way. So here I'm showing you the starting point. You wanna go to shopify.com forward slash starter. This is because you want to use the starter plan. You don't want to use the one that's $39 a month. The starter plan is only $5 a month and allows you to sell across social media and create a simple shop. And that's essentially what you want to do. You don't want to create anything super complicated, just a nice simple shop. Keep in mind the starter plan is $5 a month, but transaction fees are 5% when you use Shopify payments. So the next thing you want to do is add a few applications. Well, before you add your products, you can add products first, but you want to add these apps first. So if you're already selling inside of Printful or um, Printify or whatever the heck it's called, then you definitely need to add the applications, so those apps inside of your Shopify store. To do this, you do wanna select where it says find products to sell. You can learn more about drop shipping if you click on this link. Um, and then if you're selling digital products, install an app to sell digital products, which I've already done. So right now I'm just gonna click the find products to sell so I can show you how to add those um, sales channels for Printify or Printful. So now here I am inside of the apps and sales channels. Um, we want to go to Shopify app store right across the top, which will open up in a new link. Now you can usually search for Printful, but I believe it's one of the very first ones that comes up. 
and it'll tell you if the application is compatible with your account or if it is not. So for me, I am using Printful for this, but you can also use um, the other one, Printify. <laughs> Printify right there. So you will need to install Printify or Printful, whichever one you use, and the Buy Button channel, which is free. So you see that it says free, free, and free. They all have free plan available and a free plan available and then free. This one is by Shopify itself. And this is the button that you use to sell your digital products on your site. Oh, excuse me, not your digital products, but to sell your, create your buttons for your site. And this one is for your digital products. So these are the four items I suggest making sure that you have installed inside of your apps for Shopify. Once you have the apps installed inside of your Shopify account, you want to just go back to the admin. So the admin.shopify.com to go back to your store. And this is the part where you're going to see your information and where you need to go. This is where you need to go to set up and create the buy now button. And you can decide on what that buy now button will look like. So here I'm going to just go over on the left hand side to products. Once you select products, if you have created your product, you should see them inside of the product listing. The first one is a digital product, which I'll explain a little bit later. Um, but the second one is a print on demand product. All right, so now I'm going to show you where to get that buy now button um, and how to customize it for your site and probably kind of the best way to customize it for a Google site in general, I should say. So as you see here on that left hand side panel, we have sales channels. We added the buttons into our sales channel. So they are an option now. So if you were to click on the sales channel, the very first one that should come up as installed is the buy button. So I'm going to select buy button. As you see here, I have no buy buttons that have been created in this panel area. So now I'm going to create a buy button and it's going to ask like, um, what type of buy button would you like to create? And I'm going to say product buy button. Then it's going to give you a listing of your products. The first one is that digital product. The second one is that print on demand product. I'm going to select the print on demand product for this tutorial. Now that I've selected the print on demand product, I can decide what it's going to look like going inside of my Google site in the top right. Um, not right side, but the top center, you'll see that you have a phone so you can see the mobile view and then the um, desktop display. And then the icon right next to it, that, that just means to span the entire width so you can see what the entire thing will look like. Um, so I'm just gonna click back on that desktop view. And now you can decide on what images you want displayed. So you have your product variants. You have all variants, small, white, um, and then because the hoodie is white, we have small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, 3X. And then you can also change the product from this, change the name of the product um, or change the product, I should say. The layout, you can change from full view to basic. And basic will remove the images, but keep the selection so that you know it's just white. This is the only color that's available. And then the different sizes. And then we also have add product to cart, direct to checkout, open product details. So what actions you want people to take whenever they click add to cart. And then you can choose the button style here. And of course the different layout for your button. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we are just going to keep everything pretty simple. I'm going to um, make it the classic view. This is the best view I think that's going to work the best inside of the Google site instead of the full view because this will cause me to have to pull that that um, screen down way, way, way down and it just looks kind of goofy like that. All right, so let's just change this back to um, classic view that shows the hoodie. And then for the button style, we want to do um, if you want to have corners, you can round the corners if you want so that it matches more of the Google style buttons, but I'm a square button kind of person like most people, I assume. Um, you can also change the width of the button, make it a large button, make it a small button. 
um, it's you know your choice change the color the background of the button so you can make it like lime green um, you can make it like this rustic color this burnt orange color right here which is what I'm gonna go with because it's pretty close to what I use in my branding and I'm just gonna raise the red just a little bit so it's a little more close I'm not actually putting it in there and then you can change your button text to um, one that you think is going to be similar to what you use in your site I'm gonna go with Playfair um, because Playfair is close to one of the designs that I'm working on right now so I'm gonna say Playfair which is a pretty common one and then you can change the font sizing um, I think this is the the font sizing it could just be the padding let's look yeah it's the font size so I'm gonna change the fonts back to a normal size which is like 15 and then let me go back and I just want to make sure that it looks the way that I want it to at this moment so right here we can go to layout and layout we can change the image to be small a medium sized image or a large image I'm just gonna keep it as a medium image I think that's good you can also show additional products um, like additional images directly underneath have it centered have it left um, have it right um, it's, it's totally your choice I'm just gonna keep it centered and then I don't care I'll leave the additional product buttons the additional images yeah I'll just I'll just leave them for now we'll play around to see if we like the way it looks once we add it to our Google site so now you can decide the product title what color you want the product title to be do you want it red green blue purple um, yellow whatever color you think would work best I'm gonna get it similar to this color and then for the price I am gonna make the price a little bit um, darker maybe like jet black or maybe even green um, like a forest green and then variants I guess if I had a variant you can choose these color variants is right here um, so that you can make different selections I'm gonna set the color variants to be similar in color to um, sort of like the buttons there we go all right so I think that works well and then the product I'm going to also match to play fair everything at this point is going uh, the product I'm going to make Playfair bold actually and then the others I'm going to just make regular Playfair and the variant will also be Playfair so now you see I have this really um, kind of nice looking I wish I could move the, the, the title so it's not so close to here but maybe I can do that after the fact you wouldn't you would not know this but I have not done this part until this video a lot of times when I'm doing videos I'm learning as I'm going I just I'm I have a really good aptitude for stuff <laughs> so I do think this looks good so I'm just gonna click next and now that I've added uh, the next you see I get this long list of code and I'm just gonna copy the code and now I'm gonna go over to my site Minolta orange and I added this bit here but I'm just gonna delete that and then I'm gonna double click inside of my Google site add the embed and then embed code right click paste this plain text and then insert and then that added it in but it made it span the entire width and that's because that text was um, attached to it and I, I need to separate it from there so I'm gonna move this so the text is by itself and put this so that it's in the middle and let's see if it um, gets that scroll bar since we're adding it to the center even on a mobile and it does not it looks pretty darn good that looks pretty amazing let's see if I do um, the drop downs come out pretty great so now I'm gonna do add to cart and when we do add the cart it actually pops out right along the side so now I'm gonna try something I'm gonna do check out and obviously it's gonna say something wrong the store isn't taking orders because I haven't turned my, my store on just yet obviously so that is actually really cool though so you get a kind of an idea of how to add your um, print-on-demand products um, you know to your <laughs> Google site using Shopify buttons and this is the same process for the digital product which I'm gonna show you now 
all right so to do the print on demand or not print on demand the digital product we're going to also do the sales channel and we're going to do the buy button and we're going to create a button for a product that is going to be for this product which is the client gallery and i know i'm using the wrong image for this so don't worry about that though and we can see that the colors that i have set up in the last um, option have followed to over here so that looks pretty nice um, we can do this classic style layout with the add to cart button or we can do a full view which gives the information that I added into here or we can do you know um, just the button by itself it is you know totally our choice and how we want to lay the content out but again the process is exactly the same as before so I'm just gonna click leave I don't want to have to show you that part again <laughs> All right, so I do hope this video was helpful in showing you how to connect your Shopify account to your Google site. Um, I do offer e-commerce solutions to my clients, but the reason I don't create e-commerce pages to be um, sold in my store is because I like people to decide them for themselves on what service provider they want to use because there is a monthly cost associated with e-commerce sites, whether you're going to use a PayPal button, a Stripe button, or a Shopify um, add to cart or buy now button. The choice is 100% yours and I like to give my clients the opportunity to um, make that decision for themselves. All right, so again, I do hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I am not someone who um, does the Shopify all the time. I prefer to do a Stripe or PayPal development. That is where I lean heavily on. So um, if you want more videos like this, just let me know again and I will probably come up with something for you. All right, thanks so much again and see ya.